to my channel. Hey yo, hey yo, listen up, listen up, yeah. Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo. The wireless woman. You in charge of the girls, right? I am in charge of the girls. Are you in charge of the girls? I am in charge of the girls. Okay. Send it up, send it through. Send it right, right. Do you? Hey, hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, Wi Fi's. Welcome back to yet another underground, under renovation episode of The Wireless Woman. Go ahead and do me a favor on your way in and like this video. Why? Because when you like it, well, I love it. And if you haven't, make sure you subscribe to this channel. And click the bell for notifications of when I go live and when I upload <laughs> new content. So it would appear that we go send it up and send it through. Send it right back to you. This is the reason. This is the reason why I don't get involved with current events, with celebrity gossip. Because maybe they over there in the Matrix. Over there in the uh, metasphere space, making up stuff. I can't, I can't do it. So it would appear that Jonathan Majors is being cleared and exonerated on all charges. Didn't happen. Not a thing. Nothing to see here. Pack it up. Go home, people. Yeah, that's basically what they want us to do and believe. Here's what I'm going to say. The machine, baby, when there's money at stake, when there are reputations to protect, this is when you see, yeah, this is when you see people go to work. And I'm not going to say whether I believe he did or didn't do it because, hey, it's none of my business. It's none of your business. But what I will say is this. I'm going to give you an anecdote because that's what I believe in. Lived experience. I was in a marriage to a narcissist. A lot of y'all know this. My second marriage was to a narcissist. And I'm going to tell you, I think it'll probably take my whole entire life. Yeah, it will. It will. To really fully recover, decode, you know, what happened to me. I hate saying things like that because people are like, oh, don't be so negative. You're going to heal. You're going to get over it. You are going to heal and get over it. But it's just one of those things that becomes like cotton, the fabric of your life. The fabric of our life. You know, there's a strand that's woven into the quilt of your life that you've been making once you encounter a narcissist. Like I can see the dividing line in my life before that and since then. And I mean, each year I still come up with more things that I'm like, oh my God, Ooh, like PTSD, which is why I'm in therapy and I stay there. But my understanding is the girlfriend is going to get help for emotional stress. And I would suggest that she do that anyway, whether this happened or not. So my anecdote is that I, during the relationship that I was in, ended up in an overnight, you know, inpatient, outpatient type situation in a mental institution. Because when you live with a narcissist, the gaslighting puts you in a position where you start to question your own reality. You stop trusting the way that you remember things. Like after my narcissistic relationship, I had a hard time remembering things. And I consistently felt like, you know, I would have to run through things over and over again. It drives my friends and people who know me well crazy that I have to have it exactly the way it happened. But that is a effect, like a side effect of being in a narcissistic relationship. You are with someone who bends the truth and reality so much. And the goal is to get you to just question your own reality. You don't even have to have a mindset that goes against what they think. You just have to not really know. You have to just be in a consistent, constant state of confusion in order for what they're doing to you to work. 
And so for me, having been in a situation where, you know, I, I've had whole people tell me that the way I recounted a story was wrong for that particular narcissist. And it can be debilitating over time when you're, when you, I mean, they don't do it with big things like cheating and, you know, like it's little things like you didn't make the bed this morning, you know, walking out the house, you made your bed, you come back, bed's not made. And you're like, I know I made my bed this morning. I know I made, was it yesterday? Was it? So I hope that's not the case here. You know, we're innocent until proven guilty. Uh, and unfortunately, the burden of proof is always going to be on the victim, not the perpetuator. But one thing I will say is that if Mr. Majors has indeed committed an assault and a crime, it wasn't the first time. It definitely will not be the last. A lot of entitled people get enabled to the point of exposure. And so, you know, I just hope that the truth comes out, whatever that is, whatever that is. Yesterday, he was an abuser. Today, he is not. And tomorrow, it is yet to be seen. If he's been falsely accused, I'm glad that he's cleared. If he did that, though. So you already know. Go ahead and drop that fire headphones emojis in the comments. And tell me there what you think. Do you think he did it? Do you think he didn't do it? Do you think this is another case of a Karen using and weaponizing their access to, uh, you know, their, <laughs> their men for protection? Or, you know, I mean, is this another case of, of a of a black man being falsely accused of a crime he didn't commit? I'd love to hear what you have to say. I'm ambivalent on it. <laughs> I'm ambivalent on most things. <laughs> People accuse me of being certain things and I'm like, baby, I hadn't even made my mind up yet. So, you know. Let me know what you think. Convince me in these comments. <laughs> Until the next time, I will see you there in those comments. You're dismissed.